When you encounter an aggressive driver, you should a. Give them space and not engage. b. Not allow them to pass. c. Speed up. d. Honk at them. When you encounter an aggressive driver, you should a. Give them space and not engage. If you encounter an aggressive driver, it is important to know how to handle the situation safely. The best thing to do is to allow them to pass, get out of their way, and give them space. In no circumstances should you try to interact or engage with an aggressive driver, be it verbally, with a hand gesture, or your horn. These actions will typically make the situation worse. Is it illegal to pass on the right? A. Yes, if the vehicle you are passing is turning left. B. Yes, if you need to use the shoulder to pass the other vehicle. C. Yes, all the time. D. Yes, if the vehicle you are passing is a large truck. Is it illegal to pass on the right? B. Yes, if you need to use the shoulder to pass the other vehicle. It is always illegal to use the shoulder or drive off the roadway to pass another vehicle. However, passing on the right is not completely illegal as a rule. When driving at night, you should a. Drive faster. b. Increase your following distance. c. Decrease your following distance. d. Always use your high beam headlights. When driving at night, you should b. Increase your following distance. Driving during the night comes with additional hazards and more danger when compared to driving during the daytime. One way you can keep yourself safer when driving at night is by increasing your following distance. Since visibility is reduced, increasing the distance between your car and the vehicle in front of you will give you enough time to react if the other car suddenly stops. The proper way in which to make a right turn is a. Get into the right lane and complete the turn immediately. b. Swing to the left before making the turn. c. Get into the right lane, but do not slow down. D. Use your turn signal, get into the right lane, slow down, and yield to pedestrians. The proper way in which to make a right turn is, D. Use your turn signal, get into the right lane, slow down, and yield to pedestrians. Whenever you make a turn, it is important to slow down first. Taking a turn at too high of a speed can cause you to lose control of your vehicle. Additionally, Passenger cars should avoid swinging to the left into the adjacent lane. Other than large vehicles, swinging wide is unnecessary and unsafe when you are making a right turn. Weaving in and out of traffic. A. Causes traffic to be slower and can increase the risk of a collision. B. Will allow you to beat the traffic. C. Should only be done when you are in a hurry. D. Is okay for faster vehicles. Weaving in and out of traffic, a. Causes traffic to be slower and can increase the risk of a collision. It is a common misconception among impatient drivers that weaving in and out of traffic will allow them to reach their destination faster. The truth is that constantly changing lanes and weaving through traffic worsens traffic congestions, increases the likelihood of an accident, increases hazards for you and other drivers, increases your chances of receiving a moving violation. If a school bus is stopped and has its red lights flashing, you must a. Stop and then proceed as long as you don't see any children. b. Stop until the red lights are done flashing. c. Slow down to 15 miles per hour. d. Pass the school bus on the right. If a school bus is stopped and has its red lights flashing, you must b. Stop until the red lights are done flashing. A school bus that is flashing its red lights is actively picking up or dropping off children. Sometimes, the flashing red lights will be accompanied by an extended stop sign as well. Whenever you approach a school bus with its red lights flashing, you are required to stop and remain stopped until the school bus stops flashing its lights. This rule applies to traffic moving in either direction. The only exception to the rule is that drivers on the opposite side of a divided highway are not required to stop for a school bus with its red lights flashing. 
Lanes marked with a diamond symbol are A. Fast lanes. B. Turn lanes. C. Carpool lanes. D. Bike lanes. Lanes marked with a diamond symbol are C. Carpool lanes. A diamond symbol on a lane of traffic indicates that the lane is a carpool lane only. These will typically be accompanied by HOV road signs as well. A carpool lane is often the leftmost lane on a multi-lane highway that is restricted for cars with multiple occupants. In most places, the minimum number of passengers, including the driver, that must be in the car to use a carpool lane is two. When sharing the road with a light rail vehicle, you should a. Never turn in front of a light rail vehicle. b. Drive on the tracks behind the light rail vehicle. c. Pull over to the side of the road until the light rail vehicle passes. d. Also drive through an intersection before the light rail vehicle, even if the traffic light says otherwise. When sharing the road with a light rail vehicle, you should a. Never turn in front of a light rail vehicle. When driving in cities and urban areas, you are likely to encounter roads that are shared by passenger vehicles and light rail vehicles. Light rail vehicles are passenger trains and trolleys that operate in metropolitan areas. The rails they ride on often intersect the road and share certain parts of the road with lanes of traffic. It is important to know how to safely share the road with a light rail vehicle. True or false? You may pass on a two way road that is marked with a broken yellow line. A. True. B. False. A. True. You may pass on a two way road that is marked with a broken yellow line. Broken lines, either yellow or white, can typically be crossed over. Solid lines, either yellow or white, can typically not be crossed over. You can only use the opposite lane of traffic to pass other vehicles moving in the same direction when the broken yellow line is on your side of the lane. You are entering an expressway and are in the acceleration lane. You should speed up to A. Just faster than the speed of traffic on the freeway. B. The posted speed limit on the freeway. C. Just below the speed of traffic on the freeway. D. Match the speed of traffic on the freeway. You are entering an expressway and are in the acceleration lane. You should speed up to D. Match the speed of traffic on the freeway. Use the length of the acceleration lane to get up to speed. Put your turn signal on to indicate that you are merging. Wait for a large enough gap in traffic and merge when safe to do so. When entering the freeway, you should pay attention to the type of white lines dividing your lane. You should wait to merge into traffic on the freeway once you reach the point of the acceleration lane with a broken white line or when the lane merges. Great job! Here are some of your next steps to getting your learner's permit or driver's license. Read and study the official driver handbook from your state DMV. Take more free practice tests at puedomanejar.com. Gather all your necessary forms and documents before you visit the DMV office. Before you know it, you'll be driving in your very own car all by yourself. PuedoManejar.com Free DMV practice tests and much more to help you pass your real exams. Visit us today.